Today's technology can be confusing. Take the term dual clutch transmission. It has a clutch, so it is a manual transmission. Or is it a type of automatic transmission? It's a little bit of both. Let me explain what you can expect with a dual clutch transmission. Without getting too technical, as the name implies, there are two clutches that control shifting of the gears. But rather than being controlled by a foot clutch, this transmission does the work for you. The onboard computer can predict which gear will be activated next based on driver input. The dual clutch transmission, or DCT, is available on select Kia models. All you do is put it in drive and you're on your way. On the road, you'll notice it combines the efficiency of a manual transmission with the convenience of an automatic. Think of it as an automatically shifting manual transmission. With the DCT, the transmission shifts smoothly and quickly, and the shifts are more precise than a conventional automatic transmission. You may also notice improved acceleration thanks to the dual clutch transmission. It's like the best of both worlds. Here are some additional tips. To hold the vehicle stationary on an incline, you must put your foot on the brake pedal, engage the parking brake, or shift into park. If the vehicle is held stationary by applying the accelerator pedal on a slope, the clutches may overheat, which can result in damage. Avoid aggressive starts on the steep grades, as that may overheat and damage the clutches too. When first accelerating away from a stop, you may experience a slight time lag at takeoff during aggressive acceleration, so try to be smooth when pressing down on the accelerator. If you release your foot from the accelerator at low speeds, you may feel strong engine braking, like a manual transmission. And when turning the engine on and off, it is normal to hear clicking sounds as the DCT is undergoing a series of self-checks. Also, if the clutches are overheating, an amber warning light will be displayed in the instrument cluster. If this occurs, pull over and place the vehicle in park. Allow the engine to idle while the clutches cool off. The warning light will go out to indicate you can proceed. For additional information on the dual clutch transmission, please refer to your owner's manual, the features and functions guide for your vehicle, or the Kia Features and Functions Videos YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.